Hi, I'm Chad with Turf Organics, and today we're gonna to talk about this nasty grassy weed called Dallas grass and signal grass. We're gonna talk about both of them because they're very similar. But first, I wanna appreciate everyone subscribing. If you found my videos useful, please feel free to like and subscribe. I'm doing a 10,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm giving away three bags of fertilizer, so please make sure you're subscribing to help support the channel. Let's get right into the video. Now, I'll show on screen what the signal grass and Dallas grass looks like. On the left is the Dallas grass and on the right is the signal grass. You can see they're both very similar and they both like very similar growing conditions. So these are the two grasses that I'll be talking about today. Okay, I'll be talking about Dallas and signal grass and St. Augustine and centipede grass. I'm not gonna waste any time here. There's no selective herbicide that will kill either of those grasses. So let's get that out of the way right away. So unfortunately, I know you were hoping I was gonna give you some answers, but I'm not. But let's talk about what we can do since there are no selective herbicides getting out of your lawn. You'll see a lot online that you can read recommend going around with glyphosate and just treating right where the weeds are. That is one way. It's not a way I would recommend. Probably the best way to be go around with a little hand shovel and get down by the roots and pull on them and make sure to get all the roots out and get them out by hand. Now, since you can't selectively treat these, this is where your pre-emergent program is gonna come in big. Like I said, dig out all the ones that you can, and then applying a proper spring pre-emergent where you're at will help prevent these seeds from germinating. Now, these weeds will germinate in the springtime when soil temperatures hit about 60 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit, so that's when it's important to get a pre-emergent out before that. I know it's tough in Florida, but sometimes the soil temperatures don't drop much further below that, but that's why still doing a timely pre-emergent where you're at is very important. Now these seedlings form these big clumps that you see the, these weeds usually grow in. That's what's one thing is that they're pretty easy to get out because they grow in a large clump. The optimal outside air temperature for these weeds is gonna be 80 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The thing about the both of these weeds is they grow very fast, very rapidly. These weeds like to grow in wet, compacted areas. So usually where your grass struggles is where you're gonna commonly see this weed, why it can be such a problem because the weed loves those area and your grass is dying and thinning out. It can grow in sandy or clayey soil, so it's not very picky. If your grass grew this well, you wouldn't have to be watching my videos. It is drought and frost resilient, so those hot temperatures, and when your grass is struggling, again, these weeds will not be. Even though they grow in wet areas, they are drought resistant. Now, also, these weeds respond very well to fertilizers. So using high nitrogens will really help these weeds grow and respond, especially if you're having a wet and compacted lawn. The nitrogen won't feed your lawn nearly as much, and it will really start, it'll really feed these weeds. So it can really cause these weeds to be excessive throughout the lawn. Best way is gonna be going around and, and with a little shovel and pulling up, getting the whole root, and then making sure that you use a timely pre-emergent. Also, doing aerations to keep your soil loose and good drainage is really important because these weeds will outgrow the lawn and they're very big eyesores and they can spread quickly. So this was the best way to deal with Dallas and signal grass in your lawn. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below in the video. And please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. I'm doing that 10,000 subscriber giveaway. So please be part of that to make sure you can win some fertilizers. I'm Chad with Turf Organics. I hope everyone has a great rest of your day.